Hey yo, I'm easily fascinated I'm feeling so creative It's your boy Stevie, I'm a planet Earth native I'm enjoying all the moments cause it's such a thrill living And I'm not sure if you notice, listen up, we're still spinning Okay, hello, we are live, I guess uh, Podcast 70 in the books, we did 70 of these fucking things And I don't still don't know what the fuck I'm doing Welcome. Today's episode is uh, incoherent. Um, literally, I have nothing to talk about. Literally, just wanted to start yapping. Uh, no video, straight audio. I didn't have time to set that thing up. That's a lot of work. I'm a one man show. Hmm. <sighs> Take a breath. Uh, breathing is good. Stay hydrated. Stay healthy. Uh, keep your life up. I'm trying to motivate you people. I'm trying to get you to friggin' live it up. <laughs> live it up. I'm telling you live it up, right? Right? That's what we do here, still spinning. Let's give a little quick recap of uh, what the fuck is going on. Um, Still spinning podcast, right? Still spinning the earth, still spinning. Stay with me now. (laughs) And then there's stars, and we're out there with them, right? And we kind of forget. We usually forget. We usually are like, you know what? We are killing it. We're walking, we're eating, we're doing things. You know, the we're, we're living our lives, but we're not. That's where we lose it. We think we're living our lives. And then we're like, hmm, I'm just an animal. And you have weird <laughs> thoughts. And you remember, you remember, you remember that you're a lot more. And we have a knowledge that we shouldn't probably have as just a regular species. And that trips us out. And so we lose ourselves a little bit, and I'm trying to bring us back. I'm trying to bring it, bring it back. Bringing sexy humans back to their consciousness. Anyway, I'm on my own journey. I don't know what's going on, but I'd like to try, you know? That's kind of my motto right there. I don't know what's going on, but I like to try. I like to try to understand some things. I like to read a few words. What are words? We made them up. Hmm. Oh, it's only been two minutes? Wow, that's insane. Feel like I've been writing a novel in my head, and it's been two minutes and 21 seconds. Jesus, St. Jezebel, and Randall McFlanagan all came and went in one fell swoop. Where are we going with this? One can never be sure. Anyway, let's try to have something coherent. Let's talk about the books I read. It's only been three minutes anyway. I got plenty of time. For what? Nothing. Um, I went to Italy. It was amazing. I lost my mind. Uh, people are nuts there. They're just, er, dude, everyone was jumping. Everyone was dunking. It was just, I was like, where am I? Dunk heaven, dude? What is this, Italy? No, nobody was dunking. Nobody even friggin' worked out. I don't think I saw a gym once. Pretty interesting. Um, had a lot of carbs. Pretty good carbs. <laughs> I felt pretty good. I mean, I, my diet is so strict right now that I feel like when I go off for a week, it's not even much. And all I had was pasta and carbs. I didn't really have that much sweets because I didn't really have that many sweets. So I just kind of had like pasta and carbs. I didn't have that many sweets. But yeah, and I walked like a ton. We walked all over the place. We walked miles and saw a million things. I took a million pictures. I love the pictures I took. I'm getting pretty decent at photography and that's really fun. And, um, I guess this is what my podcast is. Just me talking about my life, which is fun. I got to think, I got to remember that more. And I know I like when people do this on their podcast. So that's why I enjoy it too. Man, it would be cool to have video too, because I'm doing really good hand gestures right now. (laughs) Italian, um, 49% 49% and then the 51% or 50-50 Italian Ashkenazi Jewish. Thank you, 23 and me. Your boy's Jewish. Most people knew that. I think I've rapped about it 18 times. So, what? No. Twice? Yes. Um, so, I was in Italy. We went on the gondolas. Venice is like its own world. It's surrounded by water. I don't understand it. It's sinking. It's floating. What's happening? Uh, beautiful place. Took great photos. If you want to see these photos, Stephen Selly Media Instagram. It's awesome stuff. I mean, coming from me. So then we went to Florence, good food. I don't, I'm trying to remember everything. It's impossible. Anyway, the cities were crazy. The overall takeaway is just to be somewhat legible, verbal. Um, 
beautiful place. Tons of people. I don't know if it was, now thinking about it, I don't know if it was, it, it felt like it was just how they lived there, especially in Rome. It was so packed. I left, the last city I went to was Rome, saw the Colosseum and stuff, so that's why it's kind of more fresh in my head, I guess, because that was the last scenes I was at, but just so packed everywhere you go. People, so many people, um, and more people, and... Yeah, they just, this is what I, what it felt like. It felt like everyone just wanted to talk to everyone, but nobody wanted to do anything. So, like, not even, and anything means work or work out or anything besides talking to each other. So, it's not just anything in the fact like they don't want to do any work. It's no, it's we're going to talk and drink wine and have coffee on the street. And that's everything. And then, Everything else is nothing, and so that's what we do, and that's what it felt like. So there was, uh, I don't know if that was just where we go- went, because it was such the popular destinations, and there's just amazing buildings, so I get it. It's like when you sit outside and have that coffee there, that's the thing. When you're sitting outside having a coffee, which I don't even think I did, but we had lunch, it was kind of like, you get it, and you're just like in that area with those people, and people from all over the world, too. I don't know if that was even true, what I just said, but it felt like that because there's a lot of tourists. But there's people, and the buildings are just so incredible to look at. You're just like, this is life. You just enjoy, they're just enjoying that moment so much, and they just like go for that one moment. I'm kind of thinking it through as I'm like thinking about the experience, but for me, it's like I want to enjoy every moment, not just the one that I'm. Um, not just like one type, I guess, because that's that's like their moment. They freaking have that coffee. They're sitting there looking at this architecture. They're with their friends and family. It's the most beautiful way things can be, but that's all they do. That's weird to me because I love that too, but I also love dunking, you know, but I also love swimming and I also love eating other foods instead of just one type. So... What else do I love? Let's see. Like rapping and dancing. I didn't even hear music, bro. I thought I would hear some like friggin' accordions or something or some kind of gesture, gesture, like dance into some symbol, like the monkey with the hat with the symbols. Whatever happened to that? Why'd they get rid of that? Oh, probably because the monk, it's not good for the mon- monkey. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there wasn't that much music. It was just the same thing. It was just liquid and conversations. <laughs> That's it. If I had to sum up Italy, it's liquid and conversations and architecture. The friggin' L C A. Can't spell Italy without L C A. But it was great. And I loved it. And it was amazing to see another part of the world because the people are so different. Like the they just have different mannerisms and even different language, obviously. But when they when they the way they live, like they were like walking right in front of cars and it worry, and I see that in like big cities, but not like this. This is literally like everyone's knees are getting bumped at every corner and the streets they're going down are tiny they're like the size of a hallway in a high school uh, i mean i have no clue the size of high school hallways um because i guess now they, they have like those big halls that are like for a lot of kids but like a you know like an average hallway and the cars are going down that and they're going fast too like they don't slow down and it's like on people and the car like i'm not slowing down you're not slowing down so we're both just going to pass right by each other with friggin one hairline of an inch to spare and people are loving it no one's worried and the, the, the other thing that's interesting is when you think about did that guy just get hit or like is what if that guy just got hit right there he could have easily and if he does i can just see him getting up like ah it's a god damn it uh, i hate mondays like that's their mondays they just freaking get hit by a car um instead of like us when we're our mondays is like oh i got too many ice cubes in my milk there's a lot of comedians talking about milk lately theo vaughn was talking about on his podcast they did an april fool's one I don't know what's happening right now. But then there was, oh, I also watched Nate Bargatze. He had a great stand-up special on Netflix, too. I'm really into comedy. If you guys don't know more about me, I love talking about myself. This is bad. But I guess it's what a podcast is for. Um, And if you guys, dude, what? This is amazing. I really like sharing. That's another, that's a better way to say it than just talking about myself. I like sharing because when other people talk like this and I learn about them that I'm, uh, that I enjoy watching, like Chris Lee and Theo Vaughn and like when they talk about themselves, it makes me enjoy them more and, I, and, and their content more because you get to know them and they're funny. So when I watch their comedy, I like know that they're finding that funny themselves as well instead of just making us laugh. You get it. Um, so that's what I'm doing. And uh, yeah. 
where was I? <laughs> um, more about me. I said, oh, comedy. I left Italy. So yeah, that was Italy for me. <laughs> and it was a beautiful time. And I had a 10 hour flight. I increased that. You just keep working, bro. That was the longest flight I've ever been on straight. And uh, it was fine. I mean, I'm, I'm, it, it's just a flight. You just, whatever. I mean, even if you're, you, what's the word? Like, as long as you don't get sick, which I learned the last couple of times is not work out the day or before or after travel because your, your immune system's so down and I have jacked energy because I'm fucking nuts and I can go anytime, anywhere, any minute, any geography. And I can't do that because then I get sick. That happened the last two times I travel. So I'm learning. I feel great. All I did was a little bit of jet lag. And then I went to sleep early a couple nights, which I do anyway because I'm so healthy. And then uh, I had like a couple nights where I woke up weird, but that's it. I mean, you're just tired. As long as you stay not healthy. I mean, as long as you say, hey, don't get sick. You just sleep and you just, uh, you get a little tired, but you just sleep because that's what you do when you're tired. And yeah, so now I'm back and I felt like dunking and I feel amazing. And I had one day where I dunked once, which was amazing feeling after three months, even just to get a baby one to feel like still athletic and feel still feel strong. And, uh, then my friggin' uh, next day I went, which was yesterday, I got one banger. It was like, it was all hype because I got one good jump that I can kind of see, the path of me getting to the getting back to full strength because it's it's hard it I would believe in myself believe in myself and visualize it but when it when it comes together it feels amazing and that's what's happening and the hype is freaking building boys and I feel like I wish I could document every second of it but I those who are listening and those who are watching can feel it and I can feel it too and it's a lot of fun to share in that energy that's that's another thing I love I don't love just sitting and relaxing bro I got that energy in my blood and god damn it it's freaking great if I think about it, oh God. <sighs> so that energy is real. I can't believe it's only been 12 minutes. I believe right now this has been 12 minutes of straight energy, whether it's whatever, which way, funny, uh, preachy, uh, motivational, um, I meant to say motivational, um, Whichever way it goes, it was all pure, you know? It was just hype, it was this, it was that. And it was it was good. There was no lapse, there was no you could feel it. I feel like you could feel me the whole time. And if you stick with me, we're in this. And I don't know where I'm gonna go next. Uh wrapping it up, I guess I do a lot of things. I'm also training to be a life coach. I really enjoy doing that for those who don't know me. Those who do know me, I'm like getting closer to picking kind of like a program that would just kind of teach me about everything. And I really look forward to getting that started. I just love the idea of helping people be the best energy. That's actually kind of insightful. Is like find what they love to do and do that the most, but also motivate them to go after Because a lot of people just want to do it but they don't have good influences around them or they don't have um they don't have the they don't see the why or they they are a little bit afraid to be themselves and I know that because I was wow we're getting deep real quick but I was like you was just like before like dunking I wanted to do so many things and I had to kind of just like choose dunking as the way to um prove to myself I can do something I choose to do that's kind of what this whole thing is about so all these things I do is kind of proving to myself that I can do it if I work hard enough and that's that's fucking motivational but I'm feeling good I made a really good rap recently that I'm really proud of and this is not this be like arrogance or anything I don't give all fuck what you think like that rap I put out there <laughs> sounds so dumb but no it's honest it's like all I'm doing the rap is for is because I love doing it and I'm sure that comes out in the way I do it and stuff like that. And I have no interest of like trying to make, um, make money off it or anything like that. But I would, my only goal is to get a song where your friend, you can show your friend or you like it and you didn't know it was me. Like you thought it was an actual song and it was something you would bump or something that you hear once. Like maybe you heard my story cause I posted on my story 17,000 times in a row. If you heard it one of those times, that you would hear it and then be like, what was that song? And you just want to hear it again because I made a banger. That's my only goal. And it's so fun to do. And I love getting better because I can, you can find progress. So when you do something you love and you get better at it, you know what I'm talking about. That progress, that little step of progress is fucking what I live for. So when it comes to rapping and I play it, I'm like, man, that edit was good. Or that line was really good. Or I made a coherent thought and I told like a story with it. Or... It sounds good on the beat and I really felt like I nailed it with the right 
what type of like little me- melody I want to say with the type of words I'm using. Just all those different things when it sounds like it's coming together a little bit. Or obviously, after all those things I just said that comes from internally, which I feel good about, is like if someone gives me feedback, that's why any feedback that's positive friggin' lights me up because I'm giving myself so much feedback and so much criticism, so much criticism, and I feel good about it, but I, I can never be sure. The only way you know about the creative things is feedback, which is, I'm learning that now. I'm way deep in my head. This is why I jumped on the mic because I was thinking so much. So yeah, you have to, being creative and doing creative things is, I think it's good and I'm confident it is because I'm practicing and I'm working so hard, but it's always it's it always feels like it's like that ninety nine percent that is just you need that you need feedback to make it a hundred. But that's kind of what I'm learning now, and why I feel like I'm doing my best is because I'm being more confident in everything I do and not thinking too much. You can't let you want the feedback. Here's the thing I'm learning: the feedback is great, but you can't think about the feedback while you're doing it. You can't think about how people are going to perceive it as you're doing it. You gotta. Do it full confidence that you're the fucking man. And that's what I did with my last rap. It kind of came out that way. Like, that's why I was kind of like talking about like who would have thunk, not me, keeping it up, keeping it top speed, being myself. It's all like, if you think, if you listen to it now, it probably makes it has a lot more meaning to you. But it was kind of like me being confident, just being with that energy. And because I've always wanted to make a rap that was kind of like cocky, I guess, because it's just fun. But it, I didn't want it to come off the wrong way. But I was like, yeah, I don't give a fuck, bro. You know me or you know me. I don't know who I know. But you know that I know who I am sometimes. All right. So that was that was what I liked about that rap. And if you didn't see that rap, it's on my YouTube. It's on SoundCloud. You find it. I mean, do I really have to post things where like for you to click it? That's what I, I spend so much time making things easy for you guys to click. Fuck it. And I'm like, is it even worth it? Is anybody even clicking this shit? I'm spending so much time to be like one link instead of two links or friggin' one page instead of two pages got to go through. Just click my link. Support me if you want. And if the best thing you can do for me is just share some shit. If this made you laugh or something, just share it because then that's like me finding okay this is what it's like if i'm trying to get a new subscriber this is what it feels like it feels like i'm throwing my video out on youtube with a couple good tags a thumbnail a title and i'm throwing it out into the billions of videos and they got to find it right or i could see one of you guys sharing it to a friend if you know your friends at all and you find something you like, share it with them. They will love it. It'll elevate your friendship. And I'm over here in the back getting a little kickstart. <laughs> but also, that's my demographic. Other, If you like it, chances are your associates will as well. I don't know where I'm going with this. Kind of like a, I don't know, I'm just really exploring my mind, which feels amazing to do. Um, and I think that's it. I gotta go, uh, eat dinner. It's seven and I'm gonna go to sleep early. I'm gonna friggin' visualize when I go to sleep. I'm gonna take my vitamins and go to sleep and, uh, what else? Oh, I gotta get that too at Walmart if I go now. Okay. BCAAs I'm talking about. I'm gonna sleep, try to shoot for that eight hour sleep, baby. Um, and then when I wake up, read my little mantra, read my little visualization things, maybe do a five minute meditation and uh, then we uh, we start the day, and it's another beautiful day again. And I don't know when this podcast is coming. I don't know when the next one is. I didn't even know this one was one. So, uh, yeah, I loved doing this. I love when you guys enjoy from this or get some energy from it. That is, It just feels amazing because when I feel like this, I love life the most. And when I get that energy from someone else and they make me love life, God damn it, I love them. And so I helped, I hope to share in that as well. So uh, we'll cut it there. Solid 18 minutes of what the fuck. And uh, yeah, love you. Dunk life. Keep it up. Do it. Love it. Sick it. Okay. Hey, yo, I'm easily fascinated. I'm feeling so creative. It's your boy, Stevie. I'm a planet Earth native. I'm enjoying all the moments because it's such a thrill living. And I'm not sure if you notice. Listen up, we're still spinning. Uh.